This is Dire Dex by Kinda Nice, and this is Wildcard by Terry Brash. So is Dire Dex the same game as Wildcard? Initially, I was just really, really disgusted by what looked like a pretty clear case of copyright infringement. But then I checked out Dire Dex, the original game in question, and I found out it's made in Gato. So now it's personal. So here's the story. On June 3rd, the user Kinda Nice sent this post on Twitter. Hi everyone, Terry Brash copied my game Dire Dex and is releasing it on Steam under a different name without my permission. I have tried to get him to take the game down, but he is unwilling to do so, not sure what to do in this situation. For their part, Brash continued to promote Wildcard without any mention of the controversy or Kinda Nice, and instead posted memes about stealing games. Did you copy another game? Yep. Oh, oh, Why would you do that? That's just what I do! Wildcard, bitches! What? So what's the story here? Is this actually copyright infringement? And what can game developers do to protect themselves? First, let's cement one fact here. Dire Dex was first published on February 13, 2023, well before Wildcard. And according to a recent article on PC Gamer, Kinda Nice first communicated with Brash in August of 2023 to ask about a technique used in another game. In April of 2024, Brash invited Kinda Nice to their Discord server and announced that he had cloned Dire Dex in a new engine. Well, that was your first mistake. You don't switch from Gato. He also stated he added some new features, renamed it Wildcard, and uploaded it to Steam as a demo. Kinda Nice was kinda confused. They pressed an issue over copyright and copying an entire game, to which Brash allegedly replied, I liked the game, so I made a clone with extra stuff. Happens every day, homie. Brash then refused to remove Wildcard from Steam, and that was the end of their communication. Now, I'm not a lawyer. Famous first words, right? But well, let's look at the facts. First, Dire Dex was clearly, clearly published way before Wildcard. That's been established, it's on itch.io. There's proof of that. Beyond all the other proof that Kinda Nice has that it's their game, there are also chat receipts of Brash stating that he cloned Dire Dex. So that establishes Brash was aware of Dire Dex and that he used it to make Wildcard. Now you have proof of ownership, you have proof of a relationship between the two parties, and you have the other party stating that they copied it. It's a pretty clear case of copyright infringement, so what recourse does Kind of Nice have? Litigation in civil court is definitely possible, but one, that costs money, and two, both games are not being sold for anything, so I'm not sure what you'd get out of that. Could Kind of Nice argue that they're eventually going to sell their game and that Wildcard is causing damages to that effect? Maybe, but to what amount? The obvious option is to file a notice of copyright infringement with Steam against Brash and Wildcard. Based on the Steam description, I feel Kinda Nice must absolutely do this and has a full right to do so. And frankly, we don't need game developers stealing other people's games and posting them on Steam as their own. This entire thing is incredibly frustrating, but theft and copyright are huge things to think about when you're making games as an indie game developer. So what can you do to protect yourself? One, have some form of provable ownership when creating something. This could be an upload to a Google Drive that sets a date of ownership, a GitHub repo, images on social media, something that can prove you had this thing on this date. Two, be careful what you share with whom. This is difficult, right? We want to share things, we want to get feedback. But with that comes the risk of someone stealing or taking pieces of what you create. In this case, it was a pretty blatant copying, but usually this may be part of a gameplay mechanic or some design choice. These are not copyrightable, so you're not protected. Really, it means that you must come to terms with the fact that stuff that you create and post make it lifted. And number three, have a plan. Don't just share to share. Sharing your work bears some risk, so make sure there is some reward for sharing it. Identify your goals for sharing, is it feedback, marketing, and stay focused on that goal. As for Kinda Nice, let's, as a community, share a little love. You can check out their games on their itch.io page or follow them on Twitter. All right, so let's pick them up and give them the old Gato community bump. As for Brash, I think the main goal is to make people aware of the fact that Wildcard was probably definitely stolen from Dire Dex. Hopefully they take Wildcard down, and if not, what goes around comes around. Open Thievery is not a really good brand.